Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I want to illustrate how to use a new component, the C messaging component, and also I would like to introduce you to a new technique, new strategy for um, having our passwords, endpoints, and configuration data in one single file that we can then retrieve from the file system and use these parameters uh, with placeholders inside of our application. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, create a route. In the route, I'm going to use also SSH operations. So I will name my route SSH and properties because it explains uh, what we are going to do. So it's called properties one. Maybe I have done properties before. And if we type in C timer on the board, we get this timer. I will set it to one so that it will fire once the route. I will set a body for this because I want to uh, pass a command. I will pass a command to the file system to the remote file system just if config for the sake of this uh, exercise you can use here anything because we're going to establish a remote connection via SSH protocol and once you are in a Unix system everything that you can do on the command line you should be able to do from here so next thing is we are going to set the messaging protocol component to work with um, or uh, route. So if you go to advanced settings on the C messaging protocol and click on the plus sign, you can unfortunately you cannot go straight into the protocol that you need to use. Instead you have to just scroll down until you reach to your desired protocol. Here we have a wide variety of uh, things that you can interact with. You have Facebook, Google, um, Swagger, you name it, Telegram, Twitter, weather forecast, and so forth and so forth. But what we need to use, what we're going to use at least is SSH. I saw SQL flashing before. You can also use SQL, connect to databases, and so forth. So here we're going to use SSH. I need that to get my uh, syntax for SSH. So this is the way to use SSH. You can always consult Apache Camel official website to get detailed uh, information about how to use all these things. Um, so the port is 22. I will be connecting to the local host in this case and here is where we are going to use properties right because I don't want to um, rebuild my con my password and user so I will use placeholder for my user and a place is for my pass right and the way we are going to do that is placeholders you do like this double um, curly brackets to enclose them so the next thing we need to do is we need to configure um, Spring so that it can interpret these placeholders right and the way we're going to do that is if you head on to uh, Spring configuring in Spring XML we have here the recipe on how to do that so um, this is suggesting a class pad. So the class pad it will be if we use our file from the resources folder. In that case, we will be doing something like this. Uh, we will do in resource uh, class path, and then the name of our file. In this case, will be this one, right? But I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to read from the file system. So I have my properties file in the file system 
so I have to say file and then um, my file system my, my file which I forgot so I will check um, I think I just move it right I'll say um, TMP um, I just move it <laughs> and I do it uh, or properties file so the properties file <laughs> uh, TMP properties it should be something like that right and then we need a C log to displays to display the result of the command that we just executed we will use body for that and that should be it. Let's click on run and build and run. Wait a little while for the route to fire, and there we go. The route just went over, reached, uh, read my. Um, so let's quickly review it. What I have here is a command, a Linux command. You can put here whatever you want. Um, then we have placeholders for a file for my user and for my password and we configured the SSH here the same way you could have configured any other component by just adding to it and finally we uh, display the result of the command right here and we also configured the Spring um, property component right here, just giving in the absolute path to the properties file. And as for the properties file, it's very simple. I can tell you what is inside. What we have inside is simply um, sorry. What we have inside the properties file is something like my pass, my user, the user, right? This is the format of the properties file, nothing else, it's just plain text um, with pairs in this uh, way. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show today. I think it was helpful. Take care.